different video. I'm really excited. I'm really excited though. It's gonna be really, really, really fun. So I did a video last week, and y'all com kept commenting about my makeup. So that day I did a really natural makeup look, and I decided to show you guys how I do my natural makeup looks. So I'm in my room. I've got all of my makeup behind me, and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my makeup and my hair and get my outfits ready. So it's gonna be really cool. I know this is kind of a different video, but comment down below if you like it because you might learn something or I might learn something because maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to do another get ready with me video, but a different style maybe. Without further ado, let's get straight on with the video. Okay, so to start my makeup, I have to take off my off my glasses. I hate taking off my glasses, but I can see a whole lot better. Okay, that didn't make sense. I said I can see better, but I meant like I can do my makeup better because the glasses aren't in the way. So the first step is primer. So this is the Poreless Primer from Tarte. I really love it. So primer is really important, especially if you're little like me and you're starting to wear makeup and um, you really just need to protect your skin. Primer is really, really good for your skin. So I'm just going to massage this all through my face. I love the feeling of primer. It's like a moisturizer. It feels so good. They also have pretty cheap primers at Target. Once your face is primed, it's time to do foundation. I love foundation. So I have this really nice one. For a while I was using Pro Studios, but it makes my skin really oily and kind of wet feeling, which I don't like, and my powder is too dark for me. So it just, it doesn't work. Um, so I have this one from Neutrogena. It's really light coverage, which I really like. It doesn't look like you're wearing foundation when you have it, and it feels like you're not wearing anything which is my favorite so there's a little applicator right here and I'm just gonna put that on my all over my face I know a lot of people do like little triangles and stuff and they're like all perfect about their foundation I literally just put mine on like this okay then I'm using a damp beauty blender this is one from BH Cosmetic I'm just gonna blend that out so I used to think blending you go like this and you like drag it but you actually dab like this and you kind of can move it like dab like that like Mm, 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 mm. That's how it blends the most without having really bad um, lines. Someone's getting in trouble. Next is concealer. So I have this one from e.l.f. It's not my favorite. I'm planning on getting a new concealer really soon. I just don't have one. So this one is just, yeah, it's just an e.l.f. product. Um, and it's not very great coverage, but it's better than nothing. And I'm almost out. I just need to get a new, Ooh, I just need to get a new one. And then you just blend out. Okay, once your face is all concealed, next is bronzer. I have this one from Tarte. It's a brown flip up bronzer and it's got a little mirror, which the mirror isn't that bad quality. Go like this with your cheeks, it really helps. Right there. So I'm using this bronzer and this brush, it's from BH Cosmetics. I was like, I can't remember. And it's really pretty, it's like rose gold. So this is number three. This is the bronzer brush, so. So that's not fully blended out yet because I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. Now I'm taking this brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm just gonna blend all of this. Okay, so once that's all blended, you should look like you have fake cheekbones. The thing with my face is that I have really rosy cheeks, you can see, so I don't need blush, which would be the next step. Um, so, yeah, so I don't need to put on blush. Okay, so next is highlight. So I have this one from Tarte. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've tried a lot of other highlights. This one is just, I always keep going back to it. I've had highlights in palettes. Um, I just have like colored pop highlights and liquid highlighters and I always come back to this one. It's my favorite. So I'm just going to take this highlight brush. This is what a highlight brush should look like or you can use one of those small eyeshadow blending brushes. That's what I used for a long time until I figured out you were supposed to use this. There's a bone right here and you can feel it. So it goes all the way down to there or here and you're not, don't bring it down that far. It's just here. That's the highlight spot love to put some on the tip of my nose if you notice in videos I always have like a huge highlight on my nose it's my favorite look like I could I would literally die without a highlight on my nose and then you put some right above your lip it's called like the cupid's belt or something all right now my face is glowing and the next is eyes and I'm so excited eyes are my favorite okay so I'm using this palette from BH cosmetics it also has contour colors which there's highlights um, and then there's contours down there. So I am using the eyeshadow. Um, so for my crease, I'm gonna use 
Friday. It's a matte color. Wow, I only needed one, one little dip for that. That was great. That is my crease, and now for the lid. I done, I've done this before. I'm gonna use the lightest color, which I'm pretty sure is like, it's Allison, so that's just right here. So, that's pretty natural. I think I wanna go in with another color, though. I think I'm gonna put a little fairy tale, which is a gold. I'm just gonna get like the lightest bit, dust some of that off, and I'm just gonna put it all over because I really love that color. Now I'm just going in with Angel, which is this color right here. It's a sparkly shimmer color, and I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner to brighten up my eye. Just a tad. Now I'm going in with a blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend all of this out. And that is the finished eyeshadow look. So now I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. So for mascara, it's gonna pull the whole look together. So you might think your eyeshadow looks bad, but that's because you've got no eyelashes right now. So I have a mix of eyeshadows. I use <laughs> mascara. <laughs> so I use these two. This is the um, CoverGirl waterproof one. And then I, this one is from Maybelline Crockett Volume Express. the last part which is lips so I'm gonna be using this one from Colourpop I actually haven't used this yet so if I mess up I'm probably gonna wipe it off and then do a different color I usually have a go-to which is this one right here it's a soft lip butter um, it's super nice I love it I have two of them I don't like this I'm gonna wipe this off I don't like the feeling of it it feels like a lip gloss which I don't once, you never really want that feeling unless you're actually getting a lip gloss. I didn't realize, I thought this was a lips, <laughs> liquid lipstick, so I'm just gonna go for my natural color. All right, so this is the finished makeup look. I think it looks really natural. If you wanted it to be a little more natural because I know it is a little fancy for younger kids, and I know I am a younger kid, but like, I love makeup, so I like to go a little extra fancy. If you wanted it to be a little less fancy, you just don't do highlight because the thing that makes this look so fancy is the little nose. Highlight because it looks like I'm wearing makeup because nobody just has a glow on their nose. So for hair, I love to curl my hair, but it takes forever. But I hate curling my hair because it takes forever, especially with the type of wand I have. I don't have like a normal wand. It's like, it's weird. I'll show you in a second. But what, mm, something just fell. What helps to make it go a lot faster is if you put your hair in a hair in the hairstyle that you want and then curl it. So I want to do a half up, half down, but I want it to be curled on the bottom. So sometimes people just want it to be just plain curled, which is also really cute. So I have these clear little elastics, and I'm sure y'all have seen them. They're just like at Target or Kroger, so I'm just gonna brush out my hair. And these elastics can't hold much hair because they're really small. So I do my half up, half down, like, uh, like right in the middle and pretty small. My hair is a little bit dirty, um, not to where it looks dirty, unless it does, and I just can't tell on camera. But um, it, it's actually a lot better to work with hair um, the, like the day after you shower instead of on the day. So if you're like going to a prom or something, or like something fancy, and you want your hair to look good, then I would suggest to wash your hair the day before. What the heck? <gasps> I'm gonna redo that. Okay, it took a little tries, but I got my hair perfect. It has like the perfect amount of hair, but this is my curling iron, so it's different. I like this one a lot, it makes really pretty curls. So I've never actually curled my hair like with a natural look. This literally took me 15 minutes. I'm doing this every single day from now on. I love this. Um, so I've never done the natural hair look. I've only ever curled my hair like each one for like 20 seconds and it's taken me two hours, like no joke. This took me so quick. The back hairs is the only thing that I'm worried about is that when I turn around, I don't want it to like look fake. So the next thing is the outfit because you can't have this pretty makeup and hair go along with this gray sweatshirt. So I'm going to change into a really, really cute outfit. So I think I'm going to wear this stripy shirt because I haven't worn it in forever. It goes like longer in the back. And then I'm going to wear these red overalls, which I wear a lot in videos, but in real life I actually don't wear them a lot. Like I've only worn these like three times just to like places. In videos I wear them a lot because they pop. And then I'm going to wear it with some little 
black boots and knee high socks. I think this is gonna look really good. It's kind of like a black, white, and red look. It's gonna look really good with my curled hair. I know that for sure. It's gonna look really like youthful and fun because it's like an overall dress and I'm so itchy on my nose for some reason. I have the outfit on. I actually really, really like it and I really love this whole makeup look. It's really, really natural but fun. You could totally wear this to like a park, a picnic, maybe like the mall. Comment down below if you guys liked this Get Ready With Me. I really hope you did and you learned something from it or you just liked it because you already knew everything. And I will see you guys next week for another amazing video. Bye!